Human settlement, or the way that people live and organize themselves in communities, has a significant impact on the environment. From the way that we use and develop land, to the resources we consume, to the waste that we generate, our settlements have a range of environmental impacts. Here are a few ways that human settlement has affected the environment. The first of these ways is through land use and habitat destruction. As we build homes, roads, and other infrastructure, we often convert natural areas, such as forests, wetlands, and grasslands, to other uses. This can lead to the destruction of vital habitats for wildlife, as well as the loss of important ecosystem services, such as water filtration. One real-life example of land use and habitat destruction is the destruction of tropical rainforests in the Amazon. The Amazon rainforest is one of the most biodiverse regions on Earth, but it's also under threat from human activities, particularly from land use change from farming, logging, and mining. As these activities increase, natural habitats are destroyed and fragmented, leading to the loss of many plant and animal species, as well as the displacement of indigenous communities who depend on the forest for their livelihood. This destruction also contributes to the increase of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and contributes to the global climate change. Human settlement also has an impact on the environment through resource consumption. As more and more people move to urban areas, the demand for resources such as energy, water, and food increases. If these resources aren't managed sustainably, it can lead to environmental degradation, such as air and water pollution, as well as depletion of natural resources. One real-life example of how resource consumption impacts the environment is the overfishing of marine species. The demand for fish and seafood as a food source has led to the overfishing of many marine species, which can have significant impacts on the environment. Overfishing can lead to the depletion of fish stocks, which disrupts the balance of marine ecosystems and can have cascading effects on other species. It also can lead to the collapse of entire fisheries, resulting in economic and social consequences for any coastal communities that depend on fishing for their livelihood. Additionally, many fishing practices like bottom trawling, long line fishing, and drift net fishing are very destructive to marine habitats and ecosystems. Human settlement also affects the environment through waste generation. The waste produced by our communities, such as plastic, paper, and food waste, can have serious environmental impacts if it's not properly managed. Landfills and incineration can contribute to air and water pollution, while recycling and composting can help to reduce waste and protect natural resources. One real example of how waste generation impacts the environment is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, also known as the Pacific Trash Vortex. It's a large area of the Pacific Ocean where marine debris, mostly plastic, have accumulated due to ocean currents. This garbage patch is estimated to be twice the size of Texas, and it's a serious environmental problem as it harms marine life, birds, and other sea animals. It also affects the fishing industry and poses a significant threat to the ocean ecosystem. The plastic waste that makes up the patch can take hundreds of years to degrade and can release harmful chemicals into the ocean, which can be ingested by marine animals, causing injury or death. Finally, transportation is another way that human settlement affects the environment. The way we get around, whether it's by car, bus, train, or bike, can have significant impacts on air quality, noise levels, and greenhouse gas emissions. For example, long railway lines and highways can divide wildlife habits, natural areas, and agricultural land. By considering sustainable transportation options, such as public transit, biking, and walking, we can work to reduce our environmental impacts. These are just a few of the ways that human settlement has affected the environment. By understanding these impacts and taking steps to reduce our environmental footprint, we can work towards building more sustainable and livable communities. Now here's a challenge for you. You'll be creating a map of a fictional location and using icons to represent how human settlement has affected the environment in that area. Your task is to create a map of a fictional environment. It could have small islands, valleys, forests, mountains, etc. Then choose some of the typical impacts that human settlement can have on these environments and use icons and symbols to represent these different impacts on your map. Your map should include a title, a key or legend to explain the icons that you used, icons representing at least three different types of environment, icons representing at least three different impacts of human settlement on the environment, such as deforestation, pollution, urbanization, fragmentation of habitats, etc., and a short summary of the main impacts that you chose to represent on your map. As you design your map, you'll need to think about how the different icons relate to each other and how they might influence the environment in your fictional location. You can create this by hand or by using a design tool like Adobe Express. Once you've completed your map, you can share it with your classmates or present it to the class. You might also consider writing a brief description or explanation of your map to provide more context and detail. Good luck.